the revived racing mower is starting to look pretty good now. Got some chain tensioners made up, or a chain tensioner, I guess. I'm just going to try the one for now. Uh, but I still have the issue of all of this business just kind of being exposed at ankle level. While I, you know, like a bit of danger, this just seems too much. So I've got to cover this up. Um, I don't know. I have some uh, old stainless sheet metal from a barbecue that I salvaged. Big, sh big surprise. Big shock and surprise, right? Um, so I'm going to use that to cover, you know, the danger zone up there. Uh, but first I'm going to make a template out of cardboard. Alright, I'm going to start off by marking everything out on the cardboard and then, you know, making the template for this hump cover, I guess, uh, out of cardboard before moving over to the sheet metal. Just, you know, obviously it's easier to fix mistakes this way, so. all cut out now. So I've got to set it into place where it's going to sit. Um, just got to start trimming things now so a little bit of interference with the mounting tabs on both sides. So I'm going to you know, clean that up and move on to the next part. trimmed off the corners, got a nice fit, actually followed the angle of the mounting tab pretty well. On the other side, same thing, gaps, meh, roughly equal, You'll never see both of them at the same time, but yeah, cutting them together like that makes it so it's, you know, nice and close. So I got to figure out the, the top part now. So got to figure out now this part, the top. For it to lay flat, I'm going to have to start notching here and here. So I'm going to take some measurements and, yeah, cut it out. All right, so the cover mock-up is done. I'm going to use this side as a template. Got a nice fitting corner piece in there. All the gaps are covered. Um, I don't think there's any danger of anything getting caught in there or sucked in. This will be covered in on the other side, obviously. Um, I'm just going to use the one side to make the same template. They are symmetrical. And yeah, it's time to cut some metal now. So I have all the parts marked out. Uh, I was testing with tin snips to see how it cut, but I think I'll be using a jigsaw. Corrected the, you know, not nice fit there. I've also left an extra half inch on the top portion of the sides. So I can fold it over so there's a tab to weld, spot weld, the uh, top on. So yeah, time to start cutting.
So we got the sides cut out, test fit. They're pretty nice. Um, like I said before, I marked an extra half inch. That's so I can make tabs. I'll fold those over so that there's something to spot weld the top onto. Uh, normally, I think a real metal worker would use a brake for this. I don't happen to have one, nor will I ever probably have one because it's not something I use all the time, but I do have a makeshift solution for it. A big chunk of uh, angle here. I don't know where I got it, presumably from my dad's shop somewhere. Um, it's got a nice, fairly sharp edge on it. So what I do when I need to bend stuff uh, is I'll clamp it to my workbench and then I'll clamp my workpiece in between this board and the piece of angle and then just hammer the tab over instead of bending it. It's uh, not perfect, but it definitely will do in a pinch in a situation like this. after a whole bunch of grinding and cutting and hammering and more grinding and filing and fitting I've got this nice little cover fashioned up for all the chain stuff there um, didn't really film that because it wasn't too interesting to watch um, but yeah we're all ready to start welding this up got this tab bent over on each side I've even got uh, some holes drilled and make little spot welds in there. And yeah, this cover will keep all these chains in, keep our pant legs out. Got five little spot welds on each side. Um, should have prepared this side a little better. I ended up not getting the best welds out. <laughs> and it's like you can see it on the other side there. It went through a bit. It's like everything else with welding. Uh, just gotta prep everything really nicely and you'll get good results. But here we are. This should be perfectly fine. So I just gotta drill some holes. Put some nut certs in, and this chain guard will be ready to paint. So this thing here might be my current favorite tool that I bought recently. It's a, I don't know, nut cert installer. Just get your nuts sitting in there, and then squeeze the handles. Now there's a captured nut. Easy as that. And now I've got everything uh, bolted up. Got two in on this side. But uh, only one in made it into this side. There's a big hole back there, I think, where the um, on off lever was for the PTO. So I'm sure it'll be fine three holding it on it's a pretty good tight fit but yeah it's not bad not bad